Hello Art Invaders, I'm back again with new tutorials. I will upload again one Cinema 4D and one Blender tutorial per week. I'm looking forward to be artistically active with you. Today we create this cool animation. For those who do not know me, I am a digital artist from Berlin, Germany. I regularly post short tutorials and my art on Instagram and TikTok. If you want to support me, follow me on my social media channels and leave me some love. Thanks a lot, you guys are the best. Enough talking, let's start with the 3D, the 3D objects. objects. We first start with the render settings. For renderer we choose physical. For format we select in width 1080 and height 1920 pixel. For frame range we select all frames. After that we create a plane. For width and height we choose 800 centimeters. For width and height select segments 8. After that we make a current state object, out of the plane. For this we press the button at the top left corner. Now we can edit the object. To see the individual segments, we have to change the under display change the view to Goro shading lines. Then we select the area selection on the left side so that we can delete the areas in the middle. We also delete the areas, outside the render region. In the next step we create a cylinder and change the orientation to plus Z. For radius we choose 105 and for height 400. Now we use a camera to maintain the perspective. For this we press the plus to save the perspective. After that we press the plus again to change the to be able to change the perspective. We also make a current state object and delete half of the cylinder. After that we press again on the plus next to the camera to get back to the old perspective. After that we select the whole cylinder, press the with the right mouse button and select reverse normals, so that everything we project onto the object on the object is visible from the inside. Finally we create a cube that represents the mirror in our finished animation. To be able to scale it in all directions, we have to press again on the left side the button whole object selection. After that we set a check mark at fillet, so that the corners are rounded. Set the mirror to a higher position, so that we have a better reflection later. For position Y we choose 84 cm. In the next step we will add the flowers and grass, for this we need the program Quixel Bridge. The program is completely free of charge and offers many features for your 3D landscapes, the program is quite easy to install. I link you a video in the caption. For the tutorial we need wild grass, sea thrift and rose hip. You can enter these terms into the in the search box. After that press download. I have already downloaded the 3D models. When you are done, press export and the files will be automatically loaded into your project. Always export one plant first. We start with wild grass. Now we project the plants onto the plane. For this we need the cloner from the upper bar. There we put all the components of wild grass as children under it. Name the cloner wild grass. Always save the file after creating a cloner. It is possible that your program will be overloaded. Select the following parameters for the cloner. Mode. Object. Object. Drag and drop the plane into it. Instance mode. Multi-instance. Enable scaling. 200%. Count. 1000. After that you go to transform to turn the grass in the right direction. For rotation P you choose minus 90 degrees. Under scale you choose 1.7 in all axes. Now you copy the cloner and delete all the grass elements out of it and rename the cloner to C-Thrift. Now you export the C-Thrift from Quixel Bridge into your project. Then you place all C-Thrift under the C-Thrift cloner. Under count you choose 125. After that go to transform and scale the plant in all axes to 3. Now you copy the cloner and delete all C-thrift as children out of it and rename the cloner to Rose Hip.
Now you export the rose hip from Quixel Bridge into your project. Then you place all rose hip under the rose hip cloner. Under count you select 25. After that you go to transform and scale the plant in all axes by 1.4. It is important that there are no flowers above the mirror. Therefore we go back under the tag object and adjust the seed value until it is no longer the case. The materials. First we create the sandy ground. For this we go to Quixel Bridge and search for rocky ground and export the material into the project. After that we make the cloner and the mirror invisible so that we can adjust the ground. For this we drag and drop the material onto the plane in the cylinder. After that we select both materials and scale them at length U and V to 50%. Now we make everything visible again. After that we create a sky for our lighting. Now we create a new material. We open the material and set only one hook at luminance. There we place a HDRI map like this one. Then we drag and drop the material on the sky. Now we go to the render settings again and add ambient occlusion. This is what the result would look like. Now we create the mirror material. For this we create a new material and set only one hook at reflectance. There we remove the existing layer and add a new backman layer. We set roughness to zero. Now we drag and drop the material onto the mirror. You want my whole project file? You can get it. At Patreon you can find the complete project file with all textures I used. There you can also support me financially as an artist. All the money helps me spend more time on creating tutorials and cool things for you. Thanks for the support Art Invaders. And a very big thank you to my Patreons. You are the best. If you need some help or support you can text me. I will answer all questions as soon as possible. And now we came to. The Animation First we extend the animation to 150 frames, which corresponds to 5 seconds. Then we select the mirror and go to the coordinates. We set the animation slider to the beginning of the animation and set a keyframe at rotation B. After that we move the slider to the end of the animation and set rotation B to 180 degrees. Now the mirror rotates. After that we make the wind effect for the flowers. After that we select the rose hip cloner and search for random. After that we click on random and go to the tag parameters. There you remove the hook at position and add a check mark at rotation. For this you have to use XYZ rotation. Use small values and set new keyframes again and again in the animation window. Now we make the animation linear. For this we go on top to window and then timeline, F curve. There we select all points of the curve and press the linear button. Now you can render the animation as usual. I edited the animation with Adobe After Effects so that the colors are more effective come out. That's it, well done Art Invaders. If you liked the video, please leave a like. Do you have any questions or do you want to tell me something? Write it in the comments. If you want to support me, subscribe to the channel or follow me on Instagram or TikTok. There you can also send me your finished artwork. As a thank you I will show all the artwork with social media links in the next video. I am glad about every support. Thank you. See you in the next week.